What's up, everyone? Nether Void back with more Dyson Sphere program. Episode 62, sitting here waiting for these uh, high colloidal super magnetic ring. I don't know why I keep forgetting it. Probably because it sounds funky. Waiting for them to build up, I think, to 100 because we need two of these little dudes here. Um, I think that's what we need, right? Uh, here they are. Yeah, we need 50 of those, 20 of those other guys, 10 graphene. We don't have any of this stuff on us. We're going to have to grab it. But first, let's get these guys and we'll hook it back up. Yeah, we're almost done. And let's see. Oh, we don't need this. Just saw that. We have a lot of stuff um, that's kind of messing with us in our inventory here. We need graphene. We should probably get that. Anyway, let's get... Whoa, we don't need all that. We don't need that. There you go. All right, let's turn this guy back on so he can do his thing. And I think the way we're... Oh, we don't have... Lack of item. Yeah, we don't have that. All right, let's just use three. I don't really care. All right, let's just put him in like that so he can get doing his business again. Uh, we're going to need graphene, which I think we can get from right over here. I just want, like, not that many. Not even close. Can I... Okay, 42. We'll take that. Because um, I think it's 20 each. 10 each. Okay, we've got that. We have the... Do we have the other dudes? No. Delete. Um, I think those are over here. But I have inventory in my face. There we go. Yeah, it's over here. We put that build over here. We should at least have um, 40 of those by now. Oh, okay. They come in stacks of 50. Perfect. Let's get... Not that many. Let's get two stacks. I don't think we need that many, but it's fine. We're going to make two of these guys. We need some bars. Oh, we can get bars out of here. We don't need that many. Yeah, 59 should be fine. And then... I think that's everything because we have chips. Let's make two of these guys. That's going to soak up a lot of resources right there, but that's fine. I think two is probably all we'll need. We're just going to use these to make warpers really fast. I think they're on production probably. So they're going to sit right here. Man, let's get the box going so we can just get that done. And we'll get the outbound belt done, which is going to come up this direction and I don't know if everything's gonna fit the way we do an assembler build but we're gonna try it anyway all right we're gonna put that in there and then we're gonna go to production yeah no yes right there boom okay wow these guys are massive massive things man okay so let's take this out because that's not gonna fit anymore that's what she said all right let's wow okay let's get rid of that because I'd rather hmm huh. Let's do it like that, I guess, and we'll do one here. Because I think we can do a power pole right in between them. No? That's really strange. I mean, we can do it way out there, I guess. How come we can't power these guys like that? That seems like a perfect spot for a power pole. I don't see any is issues right there, but okay. Maybe we can put it on the other side. It looks like they're already getting... No, neither of them are powered. So if we put one there, we're going to have to back these up. So let's just do it the old-fashioned way. We'll put one there. Then we'll put these guys in, uh, a couple of these guys, like this, and one more, and then we'll just put the um, power pole behind this guy. In fact, we can probably, well, what are we doing? Why would it copy that? Okay, so let's extend this down a little bit, because it looks like we're going to need some extra, oh, actually, that's perfect. Now, let's extend it down, because we, if we want to um, scale this build, we, this is how we kind of usually do it, so, uh, then let's get... Let's tell this guy what he's building. Well, yeah, let's tell this guy what he's building. Well, it's really all he has. That's the only choice he has. Okay, um... Oh, that's right. You can make that straight from hydrogen. All right, we're going to build the Strange Matter Engines. And we're going to do the same thing here. Strange Matter Engine. Cool. Now let's get the out belt. Just like we would an assembler line. goes like that. And let's start... Uh, let's use Mark 1s for this, because I'm pretty sure this is going to take a while. Eight seconds. This, we got to, yeah, this is going to be ridiculous. Um, we need way more than two of these, that's for sure. But right now, we can't produce more than, well, we probably should turn, let's turn the engine thing off again and try to get the super, super magnetic ring. Let's turn that off and build some more of those up. We might need two more of these at least. 
I think we'll have enough just to get started with our warpers, but well, this doesn't have power. Oh, that's right. We're going to do a um, power pull back here, too. There we go. That should power everybody. I don't believe they're going to need tier 3 sorters. We put deut deut deuterium on the inside. These can do, do two or one sorters. Although, it might be actually less energy because these pick up stacks. I didn't think of that. And because we're going to need to pick up stacks of this stuff to actually produce. That's Those are strange pickup points, but okay. I guess all that really matters is where it goes in, it looks like, so we're fine. And then let's get one more guy out here. And they should be producing, but it takes eight seconds, so... I don't even know what it looks like. Why is it not working? We didn't pipe the right, the right stuff in here? Are we building the wrong thing? Let's let's look. We want to make warpers. We need gravity lenses. So we need strange matter. We need iron, deuterium, and those other... What do we have on here? Deuterium, crystals. We don't need crystals. So those are for the, the next build. So let's just get rid of this whole thing. Yeah, that just put a lot of crystals in my hand, but that's okay. Uh, let's get them all. How many are there? 133. Just delete. It's fine. All right, so we got to reroute this thing. We need um, particle containers, which are right here. We can put them on the bus right... No, nah, it's too, too many belts in there. Really can't put them on the bus right there. We can't fit that in. Well, maybe if we turn this right here. I believe we can do this, right? Let's go around there, and then this is going to be a little bit funky, but that's okay. We just got to move everything over a little bit, so it is what it is right here, right? This is going to do the same thing, except we're probably going to just... Nah, we better go around with this too, I guess. Like this. Every little bit counts right here, because we need to put a splitter in here. So this guy is also going to go around right about there. Then we might be able to put a splitter right there. We'll see. Nope, you're going on the wrong belt, dude. I want that belt to there. See? Nope, no splitter. That won't work. Could move that belt over a little bit. We might be able to fit a splitter in here, but I'm really doubting it. If we do this, it gets us a little bit more room, but not a lot. Oops, now let's go down and go to like that. Alright, that gets us a little bit more space. Now let's see if we can... I don't think... Turn this guy? Uh, he, uh, where's he gonna go? I have no clue. Alright, let's... Which, which direction are we going here with this? We're going in. Because that's one of the... Yeah, the silicon crystals. Um, hmm, we could move this over. We can move all this stuff over. Let's just see if we can get a splitter in there now. I really doubt we can, but we're going to try it. Oh, we can, sort of. Let's go to the other config here. That's what we want right there. And we can still put it, put it underneath, so that kind of works out. Uh, no, you need to go to here. Cool. Now he's on the bus. We'll fix all that other stuff in a minute. Let's go up with this guy and get him on the bus. We're going to actually come down. We're going to need to come down right over here, which means this guy's going to have to turn as well. That's okay, though. That's easier to turn. All right, let's get under here and maybe go... Um, which way are we going with this? Out or in? In. That's an in belt for this guy. Okay. So I think... Oh, no, I'm going to have to go around one. And then let's just go way around, I guess, to make sure we have enough room. Like that. Then I think we can split again right here. That'll be too close, but that will be just fine. Sweet. Okay, now we should be able to do this. And then do something like this. 
and be good. Okay, now go, guys. Sorry, I gave you the wrong thing. Diamonds is for the next part of the build. All right, particle containers coming on in. We also disconnected this belt on purpose, though. Why did we disconnect this on purpose? Are we good to go over here? Oh, that's not where it's going. It's going over here. That's okay. I think we're going to be fine. We should go check that pretty soon. Okay, we're starting to make the Strange Manor motors. It's going to take a long time to build up. Let's go for a row of these guys. But we're going to pick some of these up by hand, because we can make we can craft these by hand. We need some diamonds. Actually, let's just get this working. I think these are made in an assembler. Good. Because uh, we really need that. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to route this back around because I'm not really sure where else it's used. Um, and by the time we're going to use it for anything else, we're going to have this on engine planet. So it should be like, we don't really care. All right, we're going to go like this. Let's just route it this direction. And then it's going to go on the inside belt over here. I don't know how far. Probably as far as these other guys. So to here. Then we're going to, then we're going to get these diamonds so let's get the diamonds out of here well let's not do that yet let's just pipe it in we're gonna go to yeah there okay good 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 and we're just gonna go directly into there that'll be diamonds let's start filling this thing up with an outbound and then let's fill this thing up and we're gonna be ready for oop wrong direction Oh, it's the first one. <laughs> then we're going to be ready to make gravity lenses, graviton lenses, whatever they're called. I don't really care. Okay, good. Now let's get some of these dudes. Let's just tab because we don't need him to start picking up yet. Cool. We're going to just... This we can copy. This is a no-brainer. Uh, we want the return, right? So let's put the return guy in. Like that. And then the box... And then we're going to put warpers on on the uh, mart because we're going to need these things. We want them to be producing while we're not here. Oh, I'm like, oh, no, we need all these different things. Man, that freaked me out for a second. Okay, cool. That's much better. I like that build a lot better. All right, let's get uh, – how many? How long do these things take to make? Six seconds. So, again, we can use tier ones, and that is not in the right spot. So let's copy another one. Let's, let's do this right. Um – that also doesn't seem right. This is also a knife. <laughs> okay, let's set this up one more time. Sorry, I'm kind of, I've been really busy today. I'm going camping tomorrow. And I worked all day, and I went up to a brewery to get pick up some beer for camping and stuff. It's been a, it's been a long day. Um, so, let's look at, let's look at this really fast. When this thing's activated, it's 18 kilowatts. When this thing's activated, it's 72. So if you need four of them, you might as well just use this. But on the strange dude, we can use the tier ones. So we'll do that. We're going to use tier ones on the strange matter engines. We're going to use tier ones on the way out because these guys are basically just, they produce so slowly, it doesn't really matter. All right, let's, let's uh, bust the, or get this belt back in before we get any further here. And then I want to put um, one of these guys up on this. All right, so let's start. Nope, let's not copy because we need to get a sorter out. All right, cool. Now let's get some more of these guys, guys in. And really, the limiting factor here is going to be the strange matter engines because they just take forever and they use those uh, dudes there. Let's kill this. Uh, they're not called fractioners, like particle ex mini miniature particle colliders. We need way more of these. Way more. We need to expand that. We'll do that in a minute. We've been saving up engines. We should be able to do it now. Let's go look. Yeah, we have tons. Uh, we'll do that in a second. Let's put those... Let's put these guys back, because we don't need them. We've got one super magnetic ring on us. We're going to make some of those in a second. Let's finish the warper build here. Looks like our... our uh, Purple Science is still going well, and the Dyson Sphere still doing great. Dyson Swarm, best be it, that's as good as it's going to get. Let's get, we don't need that many of these. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, probably. 
We just don't... I don't think those are used in almost any anything else. Um, Autosave. Nice. Let's look. Oh, they're using green science, but we're not gonna... We're not gonna use them right here. I guess we could put them on the, uh... I guess we could put them on, uh, the logistics. So, let's collect quite a few of those, I guess. Alright, now how do we make warpers? Assembler? Okay, cool. This is very simple. It's literally one belt in. So, this guy is gonna have... Really, he's gonna do two things, so why don't we belt him out like this? Hmm, why don't we belt him into a splitter? Let's get a splitter over here. Not the config I want. I want that config. And I'm gonna go right there with it. So this guy's gonna go in here so that he can get on the logistics bus, but he's also gonna come back here and make us warpers. And then, one, two, three, all right, one, two, three, return belt for the warpers into a box. Very, very simple build. Uh, this guy, except he's not going to be having that many inputs. Power, change what he's building. We're going to build warpers finally. Yes, warpers, baby. And these are take 10 seconds. 10 seconds. <laughs> We really need to um, get this stuff in a bigger build. I mean, I, I guess the mall will probably work for most of what we're trying to do, so I guess that's probably fine. Let's get this guy exporting. Nope. Let's get him exporting right here. There we go. Now we're going to get this guy making warpers for us. There we go. Four of them. Why is it not copying that? Copy this. There we go. So there was an update, and now you can name planets. That's right. And it didn't break any of the mods. That's the one, first thing I wanted to check to make sure it's not breaking any mods. Why don't we get two stacks of these, maybe? Because we're going to want to give them to a bunch of our towers and stuff. We're going to have to put those on the, on the system for sure. Oh, beer of the episode. I haven't done this in a while. Is three ply from Moxa. That's where I just came from. Beer I'm taking with me. Camping. Oh, there we go. It's a triple hazy, really good stuff. Like I said, a lot of people are just pumping hazy or triples out right now. I don't really know why. Maybe it, people, are, it's COVID depression season or something, so they're like just pumping out, uh, you know, the high capacity beers or whatever. Uh, we have a lot of extra junk on us. I'm just gonna delete it. I don't want this stuff. Oh, I shouldn't have deleted that. I can delete this though. Tier twos. I don't want to delete those. Let's make a couple more of those dudes. Those mini collider guys let's go make a couple more of those and then we can let that guy sit because he they're just not going to produce fast enough let's get a couple stacks of those guys and we're going to fix the reason he is slow there's a reason for that i think it just might be i thought it was iron and we fixed it we need some some of these guys so let's do that 180 seems like a lot but that's okay um, we're going to need a couple more stacks of these dudes. So let's get two more stacks. What else do we need for, to make these? We're going to make two more. Uh, graphene, we need ten. We have plenty of graphene. We have plenty of processors. I think we're ready to go. Let's make two more of these guys. And that should pretty much eat up all of our resources. Yeah, we have one of those super conductive rings. Let's go drop that stuff off. And then let's turn super conductive rings back on. Because it's really not good that he's not producing. He's not helping anybody. Uh, let's just copy some belt three real quick. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's get these Mark IIs in here. Mark II engines. Where are they? Yeah, they're dead, so really, there we go. Beneficial to have those in there. Graphene can kill it. Uh, everything else, we can just kill it, because I'm not going to be using it again. Ooh, we should put those back. They're kind of costly. I, and I think we're, it looks like we're ready to go. Ready to go back to Smeltsville or some other place like that. Probably should put those bars back in there. They are a little bit costly to make. They're not super expensive, but they're expensive enough. Uh, this guy has some. Why don't we put it in here? Let's bump it up a tiny bit, maybe a hundred, and just go boom, boom. Oops. Boom. There we go. Let's just do it like that and then go back down. Uh-oh. Okay, well, whatever. Now it's got a lot. All right, let's dump these guys back in. Very cool. Okay, I think we're good. 
And I think we're good on fuel rods, too, because we grabbed a whole bunch of them. And we're probably going to need more than this many of those. Let's get a whole row. Just in case we start needing those, because I think we're going to need them in the future. So let's just do that. This stone, how's it doing? It's doing really well. Okay, good. It's keeping up. Um, other thing I wanted to check was let's figure out exactly what's wrong with the engines here. So, oh, we have two things that are not coming in now. Well, we have tier ones, and then we have the magnetic coils are really are really slow. So, what are we missing here? Same thing, magnetic coils. Yep, magnetic coils are dying. Why? What do they need? Magnets? Why are magnets dying? Let's go look. Uh, we, we can import those. We can import those. So why don't we find a place to import them? And then we're going to, like, on the uh, interplanetary. Okay, good. We're keeping up with the iron. That's good. Silicon is out. I think silicon's dead. We got We got to warp to a new planet. We're going to have to probably do that today. Maybe I can set up at least silicon. Um, just get it off planet. Mmm. Such a great beer. All right, so to fix our magnet issue, I'm just going to import over here, I think. Again, we're going to be messing with all this stuff, so it's not that big a deal. Let's import magnets. Remote. Uh, we don't want that many. Let's get like 4,000 probably remote demand. There we go. It's going to go get a whole bunch of them. And then these guys have local dudes, right? Yeah, they have local dudes. We're going to import those over here. These guys are going to demand. Um, we don't need that many. Let's get let's get 2,000, I guess. Well, we can get 4,000. That way they'll, they'll just hurry up, right? And we're going to demand those now. So we should have guys moving these over right now. Well, they're not here yet, but they will be here. So we fixed our magnet problem. That was the problem we had with that. Okay, so let's look at this. And first, let's name this planet. Why don't you put in the comments section what you want to name the planet? Uh, actually, I'm going to name this one. We're going to call it Netherworld. But tell me what you want. Get them one and get them two to be named, and get them three. Okay. What do you want? What do we want the system to name? How? About, let's name this system Nether. This will be the first one, and then we'll, and then I'll let you guys name the other ones. So I think I can name. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Um. What does this do? It doesn't tell me what it does. That's view. Oh, yeah, yeah, it does. Indicator? Don't know what that is. Uh, let's pin it, view it. Let's view it. Oh, you can name it. That's so cool. Uh, nether. We're now in the nether system. <laughs> That's so cool. Enter. Does it update? It does. It updates all the planets. Nether 1, 2, and 3. It's not Genom anymore. So this is Nether 4. We're going to call Nether 4. Uh, let's see. We're going to call Nether 4. Um, uh, let's call it Nether World. All right, Nether World. Now, you guys tell me what you want to call the other planets. Put it in the comment section, okay? And then we're going to get to a new system today, and we'll start naming that one. So we got a lot of stuff flying all over the place. Let's start looking at the global map here um, that's where we're going to put our Dyson Sphere right there on Canum Victor blah, blah, blah. we're going to have to name that one too put in the comment section whatever you want to name these things and I'll take it into consideration okay I was thinking maybe I could have like a contest I'm not really sure how to do that let's look at Reyna this one keeps popping up for us so maybe it's, it would be a good place to go ooh it has fractal silicon that's good because fractal silicon makes this right pretty sure that's the I think that's the fractal silicon. I mean, that's silicon bar. I don't know what the difference is, except you don't have to smelt it. You smelt it direct. I don't know. That's okay. Not my favorite thing. It does have silicon ore, though. Kimberlite ore, I don't really know what that does. It has fire ice and has crude oil. That's good as well. Spiniform stalagmite crystals. I can't remember what those do. Let's see what we got here. It's probably that. No. I'm not, I'm not sure that's it. Ooh, that would be nice. No, nope, we haven't found those yet. Nope. See, that photon thing, that little purple one would be great. What about this? Oh, the spiny stalagmite, I think, is for um, carbon nanotube. That would really help our oil situation. 
That's for sure, man. Oh, fire ice makes graphene? We need fire ice. We need that will kill our dependence on fossil fuels. Well, that's probably the place we're going to have to go. Let's check out a couple more places, though. We can rename Rana, too, if we wanted to right now, but we're not going to. Uh, let's look at some other places that are nearby. It kind of looks like we got this guy who is four light years. Rana is three. Altair is four. Savic is four, but he has fire ice and sulfuric acid. That's cool. Fire ice, fractal silicon, optical gravity crystal. Crafting crystal. That makes these guys instead of all this extra junk here. And makes these guys, which that's really easy to make. That's just glass. So I, I think I would probably just stick to the way we make it now. But that's a nice way to make these casmere crystals, which we will be doing a lot of pretty soon. Um, still takes graphene, though. Okay, it takes the same amount of graphene and hydrogen. You just Instead of the titanium crystal, which I think takes a natural crystal as well, which is more oil, right? You get to just use those crystals. That's kind of nice. Hmm. I think we're going to go to Rana. I think Rana has the best stuff. I think it has a lot of stuff that would be really awesome to have. I don't know why my inventory is open. Um, how come I can't see anything? Do I need to... No, no, no. That's not what I wanted to do. Now I got to zoom out. Again. Oh, the grid's pretty cool. Oh, we have a couple of closer stars right there. Rana is three. Altair is four. Seven light years. That's a little bit further. Four. Hasterang or whatever. Crude oil, fire ice, cream light ore. Organic crystals. You can mine them straight up. That'd be that'd be awesome. I think we're gonna go to Rana. It's close. That's Altair. We need Rana. Let's pin Rana. There we go. Now it'll show up in the night sky when we move around. It's already doing that kind of anyway. Tell me in the comment section what you want to call this. Let's go there. What's an indicator? Oh, that's where it tells you which direction it is. So let's see how that works. Ah, look, it's pointing. A, oh, that's so cool. All right, we're going to use warpers for the first time. Let's go back to the planet. Let's pick up some warpers. We need to set up a silicon mining op there. And you know what? We're going to wait till the next episode to do this. Let's go look at warpers here. See, Oh, yeah, we got to set up these guys too. Let's set up a couple more strange matter dudes here. And then we're going to call it good. We're going to go to another planet on the next episode. We're going to need some foundation here. And then after that, once we kind of get our ore situation taken care of, we're going to start um we're going to start building some bigger factories. Like mainly we need an engine factory like pretty much right now. So, let's well, let's do this so cuz I don't know how far these are going to go. Oh, that's across a grid line. So probably not past that. Probably only get two more of these guys in here. And then let's do a return belt. This one can link in because it doesn't really matter. So wait. Uh, is it that? Nope. It's one more over. Okay, cool. Now we can pop these dudes in. It should copy everything. It does. Cool. And let's do another one. I'll just put the uh, dude on the other side. And now we know how far this needs to be. You know, I wanted that. Is that... It's colliding. That's funky. All right, let's kill this stuff. That's as far as these guys are going to get. Because why does it not have power? Are these not connect? These aren't touching. Apparently, they don't. They don't touch. Okay, well, let's do this. That will make them touch. Uh, there we go. There. Now all the system's connected. All right, let's just belt this stuff in, and it should start rocking. Boom and boom and boom. There we go. Plenty for you guys to work on. Plenty of stuff to do. Now, now I think that they can keep up because I think one of these are 10 seconds, so we should have plenty of these. We should have these uh, strange matter engines to start building up. All right, so we got warpers. Oh, we have 200. Oh man, I didn't know they stacked like that. So let's get ourselves 100. We probably don't need that many. Let's get like 50. And you know what we should do? We should put these. Well, should we put those on there right now? Let's just put them on there. Let's put warpers. We can't. We're full. That's not good. 
Why did we fill up our inter interstellar with stuff that I could just grab from over here? That was, that was not a great idea on my part. Well, we're going to fix that next episode. We're at the limit here. I'm probably just going to reroute my um, hardened alloy and take it off this one. Because I got it right here. I don't know why I went over there to get it. I could have just done it off there. Then we can get warpers on the interplanetary. And that will be good because we can shuttle them all over the place. That will be nice. Because we're going to need those um, in, on Rana. And we don't want to... We want it to be able to go get some, right? Instead of it... You know, us having to ferry him back and forth. So, you know what? I'm going to fix that right now. How would we do that? Is that on the center belt? Does it need to be on the center belt? Does it really matter? I don't think it matters. Let's look. It doesn't matter. So, silicon can be on the other belt. It's not that big of a deal. Um, silicon, they have a bunch. Let's just change the belt. So, we're just going to do that and not care too much. Then we're going to tell Silicon, go for it, because we're going to give you at least 100 more. All right, let's go back to 2,000. Just wanted to put it on there. Uh, we don't need you, so let's say... I don't have enough space for that. Let's pick up a bunch. Oh, no, 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 no! Zero. Dang it. All right, let's put them in here. And then we'll just go boom. Okay, go back down, say up 700. I wish it wouldn't do that. I wish you could just overfill it. That'd be nice. That would be really nice. If you could just overfill it. If you're doing it manually, you should be able to overfill it. All right, so zero. I don't want any. So clear and reset. Just, I guess it's going to die. Oh, cool. It gave it all to me. Okay, I guess we got to do this again. This is ridiculous. Let's go put this over in the main thing over here. Because I don't need this. So I don't really feel like... Well, it's not there anymore. Is it over here? Yep. I don't want this. So put it right there. There you go. All right. Boom. And you're good. Yeah, two, two, 20, uh, 2,500 should be good. All right. Sweet. Now I didn't have to kill all that because that is a lot. All right. Now we can pull from the other side. We'll put silicon in the middle. And then we can, we'll have one more spot where we can put warpers. So that'll be perfect. Uh, perfect. Exactly. We're going to do silicon soon. So there's a sixth spot for warpers, but I don't think you can store a whole bunch. I think it's just when you when they come down into the station, if the station has some, you can put, you can run them out on a belt to other stations around. You don't have to port them over with like local guys and take up a slot. That's why they do that. All right, let's get the silicon in there. Silicon, 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 boom. Okay, now let's get... um. The hardened dude from over here. Boom. And let's make sure we get it in as tight as possible. That's what she said. Uh, and boom. Okay, cool. So we rerouted that. Let's get warpers on the on the uh, logistics now. Oh, that's not warpers. Oh, that's something else. It's okay. We're going to get warpers on there. You can see I'm still have a line to Rana. Oh, that's neat. All right, we're going to get this on the outbound now. Uh, we're going to go up and around. This is our typical. Uh, we can reroute this if we need to, but for now, this is fine. We're going to go like, no, let's put warpers on there first. We're going to do warpers. Where is it? It's funny. Is it not on here? Can't do warpers. Buildings. It's not buildings. Oh, warpers. We're going to want... Let's do 3,000 warpers. That is a lot. That's a lot, but the ships are going to come get them, and they're going to get a lot. Hmm. They're not that hard to make. Why don't we do 2,000 for now? We'll try to remember to make our ships um, move around, move them around by the hundreds, not the, you know, billions or whatever. All right. Boom. Exporting now. This will keep some for us so we can just come pick them up why don't we just keep one stack for us and why is it not going in did we not connect it yeah we didn't connect it so maybe we should do that okay there we go boom warpers are now on the system very cool we should probably take some with us though so let's take like a stack we can't oh i do it like that duh 
Let's take some extra because I want to put some on the other planet. We'll put these back. I'll keep a few for myself. So now I can put some warpers right here. Let's put give myself like, I don't know, 12 or so warpers or something. Very cool. Soon we're going to need Dutrune Rods though because warpers takes a lot. Warping takes a lot of energy. In fact, I don't even know if we're going to have enough energy for this. We're going to want two Dutron Rods, and we're five minutes over the time. How, how, how easy are those to make? Well, we have Dutrium. We have Super Magnetic Rings. Again, it needs it. We can make those right here. In fact, we already have it plumbed out, so we can just plumb it out again out of the same spot. And the Super Magnetic Rings are already on the bus. I think we can do that. We're going to do that next episode. We're going to get a few of these going, and then I'm going to take those with me to, um, to Rana because we need those badly. All right, so that's going to do it for episode 62. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And like this video if you did like it. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. You're going to see when I make videos two times a day. As always, stay frosty.